Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to make a relay driver circuit for Arduino. So let's get started. Now see the basic thing for this project, just draw a line. This side is our microcontroller side or any other digital IC circuit and this side for electrical devices and it is high voltage devices. Now you are going to control this high voltage devices with microcontroller or digital ICs. So you need an isolation between these two circuits so that the high voltage cannot destroy our microcontroller or the digital ICs. For this we need a device and this is optocoupler and the optocoupler number is PC817 and from the microcontroller it will get some signal and this signal will control our high voltage devices and this is the optocoupler I was talking about and it has four pins the upper left pin is pin 1 the lower left pin is pin 2 the lower right pin is pin 3 and upper right pin is pin 4. Now see the internal circuit of PC817. These are the 4 pins and with pin 1 we have to connect one 220 ohm resistor and then this resistor is connected to plus 5 volt and pin 2 is used for the input signal. We will get the signal from microcontroller or the digital ICs. Now to detect whether we are getting the signal or not for the integration purpose, we will add one LED in this and another of the LED is connected to pin 2 and cathode is connected to microcontroller. Now see the internal circuit. In the input section, it has one IR LED and it is connected across pin 1 and pin 2 and in the output section, it has one IR transistor and the emitter of the transistor is connected to pin 3 and collector is connected to pin 4. So whenever the IR LED emits the infrared light, this transistor will get activated. So in this way, we can communicate between input and output using light. And as you can see, there is no physical connection between these two sections. So in this way, we can isolate between input and output. Now as you know, we can control high voltage devices using relay. So 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected with pin 3. And then one transistor is connected and the emitter of the transistor is connected to ground and this ground should not be the microcontroller circuit ground and these two has to be different and with the collector we will connect our relay. So this is the relay coil and other side is connected to pin 4 of the optocoupler and then this pin 4 is connected with external power supply. If your relay is 5 volt, then you have to connect here 5 volt and if your relay is 12 volt, then you have to connect here 12 volt. And we need to add one freewheeling diode and I have already explained about this link in the description below. And you can connect any kind of diode, I am using here 1N4007. And the transistor is BC337. Now this is the one channel relay driver circuit. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Now see the pin diagram of the transistor. If you keep it like this, then the middle pin is base, this pin is emitter and this one is collector. So this is the pin diagram of BC337. Now put the optocoupler. This is the pin number 1, this is pin number 2, this is pin number 3 and this is pin number 4. Pin number 1 is connected with 220 ohm resistor and then it is connected to plus VCC. Here I will supply plus 5 volt. And I will use this rail as input section power supply. The same power supply we will use for the microcontroller circuit and this rail as relay power supply. Ok, this will be our external power supply. This is the separate one. And anode of the LED is connected to pin 2 of optocoupler. So this is all about the input side. Now come to the output side. Now put the relay. 
Now put the free wheeling diode. Cathode side of the diode is connected to supplied plus VCC. Now put one transistor. Collector of the transistor is connected to other side of the coil. 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected with base of the transistor. An emitter of the transistor is connected to ground of the separate power supply. And this 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected to pin number 3 of the optocoupler. And pin 4 of optocoupler is connected to plus VCC of separate power supply. So as you can see, there is no physical connection between input side and the output side. Now here I am providing ground and plus 5 volt. This is for relay control power supply. Now I am connecting another separate power supply. Here is the ground and the 5 volt. Now as you can see the LED is not activated as well as the relay. Now if I connect the cathode pin of the LED to the low signal and we know that the ground is low signal and I think you can hear the tick tick sound of the relay. Okay, so without any physical connection between these two circuits, we can control our relay. So if anything goes wrong in the relay section or in the external power supply, then our microcontroller side will not get affected. Now this is for single relay driver circuit. Now we want to make 8 channel relay driver circuit. So for this, but here I'll draw only for 3 channel. The circuit diagram will be same for 8 channel also. Now let's say this is optocoupler 1, optocoupler 2 and optocoupler 3. Okay and it goes on like this. Now the VCC from the Arduino side it goes on like this and here is our pin number 1 and we have to connect 220 ohm resistor and then these are connected to VCC and with pin number 2 we need one LED and here is our input 1. This is input 2 and input 3 and we can have more input by adding optocouplers. Now this is all about the input part. Now see the output part. Here we need separate plus 5 volt. If your relay is 12 volt then you have to connect here 12 volt. Now this is pin 4 and it is connected like this. Then with the pin number 3 we need to connect one resistor. The value is 10 kilo ohms and after this we need one transistor. The emitter is connected to ground now with the collector, we need to connect one diode. Cathode side of the diode is connected to plus VCC. This is the free wheeling diode for our relay. And here we have to connect our relay. This is Arduino side VCC. And this is separate power supply. Even both are 5 volt, but this shouldn't be connected together. And these inputs are connected to Arduino or any other digital ICs. And this is our circuit diagram and I will solder everything on this PCB to make 8 channel relay driver circuit. As this type of boards are not relay friendly, so I have created some holes for the middle pin of the relay. Now we can put the relay on the PCB. For the output connection I will use this. For normally close I will use the rightmost pin and for normally open I will use the leftmost pin. And both the middle pin are common pin. Now put this. Now put all the free wheeling diode. Now put all the transistor. As this side is anode. So I will put the collector of the transistor here. So it will be easier for us to solder. Ok. Now put all the base resistor. Now put all the optocouplers. Try to keep pin number 3 nearer to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. As you can see, this is pin number 1, pin number 2, 3 and 4. So I have kept pin number 3 nearer to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So it will be easier for us to solder. Now put all the optocouplers just like this. Now it's time to put our LEDs. Now what I will do is, I will keep anode pin of the LED nearer to the pin number 2. And for this optocoupler also, I'll put the LED in this point nearer to the pin number 2 and all the cathode pin of the LED will be our input of the relay driver circuit. Now I'll put 220 ohm resistor nearer to the pin number 1 
and I'll put 220 ohm resistor just like this. Now we need 11 input terminals, 8 terminals for 8 inputs and 2 terminals for 2 types of VCC and 1 is for ground. So total we have 11 input terminals and I have completed all the soldering and you can see it and my pin configuration is this is input 1, input 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and this is Arduino side VCC, this is external 5 volt VCC and this is ground of external power supply. Ok now check it whether it works or not. Now to check this I will connect with Arduino and here I am connecting the external power supply. Here is the ground and this is plus 5 volt ok. So these two are external power supply. Now 5 volt pin of Arduino is connected to this 5 volt ok. Now I will connect from digital 2 to digital 9 with these 8 pins. D2 is connected to first pin. D3 is connected to second pin. And like this I will connect it up to D9. Now we don't have to connect anything. Now to check it I will upload a simple program to this Arduino. Now see here as this is only for testing so so I am not declaring any global variables as these pins are connected to D2 to D9. So just write here. D2 and it is output and like this I will write all of them pin 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 so these are the 8 pins now as this is active low so whenever I keep one pin low then it will active the relay so digital write pin 2 first make it high Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Now connect this USB. Okay. Now upload this. It is uploaded. Now, as you can see. No relay is activated. Now let's say I want to active the relay 5. As I have told you before, this one relay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So I want to active this relay. So as you can as you know this is relay 1. Okay. Now I want to active the relay 5. So what I'll do is I'll make this pin low. Okay, now upload it. So it means relay driver circuit is working. Now let's say I want also relay 8. Now uploading. Okay, these both are activated. Now I will do one thing, all relay are now deactivated and then I want to deactivate this relay for 2 seconds.
and to active this relay for one second okay slow now I'm uploading this program okay so our relay reversal kit is nicely working and you can hear the relay sound the tick tick sound Let's say I don't want to active the relay 4 program is uploaded now see this relay is not activated okay let's say relay 6 now upload this okay relay 4 and relay 6 now you can see here I have not connected any power supply for the Arduino now if I remove this USB then this circuit will not work okay because we need both the power supply separately now again if I connect it it is working okay so guys this is how you can make a relay driver circuit for arduino so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching